Hey guys, what's up? Extra Sweet here, back here with another video. So, so today I'm just going to talk about, well, tonight I'm going to talk about something that, uh, I guess, I guess it's kind of heartbreaking. So, if you guys noticed this, like, just this morning, or whatever, like, just yesterday, I mean, this is like, I'm recording this, like, 12 in the morning, but what happened was is that, Epic Games and Apple were, you know, they were getting lawsuited. And, you know, the judge and whatever, they were there and they were talking about like everything, like backfiring and whatever. Like, you know, that's what, that's what was happening. Now, unfortunately, Epic Games lost against this. Epic Games did not, did not win this, like Apple won. What happened was that if Epic Games won, then Fortnite would be like, in the app store and if apple won then fortnite will be removed unless if epic games agrees on one thing so what happened was that epic games lost and the judge said that if you want to like fortnite to be uh available in the app store then they must sacrifice one thing and they said that they should revert the prices back to normal now what happened was Epic Games like they refused to do that because what happened was I don't even know like I don't even know why they didn't do it but apparently like it's just they basically like they just didn't think of doing that they're like oh no we're not doing that and to be honest I think the reason why they don't want to do this is because since the V Bucks nowadays are more cheaper it basically like um it makes people buy more and more because instead of spending like a hundred dollars on thirteen point five K V bucks you could spend eighty dollars instead. And you know Epic Games thought that was a good thing because so many people won't have to spend that much money. Like they don't have to think about them like themselves like spending too much money on this game. So basically yeah, Epic Games lost and they wouldn't agree with what Apple or the judge was saying. So now they said that this will be like this discussion will be held on until July of 2021. You, you guys heard me. 2021 inside of July. Now hear me out, guys. July was just two months ago. And that's basically 10 months later. 9 to 10 months later. Like It's, it's September right now, right? It's the ninth month of the year. And July is the seventh month of the year. Literally 9 to 10 months. They'll be like, all right, well... This is when you guys can make your own decisions or whatever. You know, that is that is just bullshit because I mean just think about it. How many players that did Epic Games lose just because of this one thing? Just because of this one thing. Like this basically like this is like the one thing that ruined Fortnite. It wasn't like the the recon expert coming back in the item shop or the blaze skin being a different kind of like basically being the new renegade raider default or the galaxy scout being like revealed in this game while well, the I mean, even though the galaxy and the renegade raider are still rare skins even though the recon experts not anymore but i'm just saying is like this is like this is the worst thing epic games has well worst thing that fortnite's ever had like i mean we have 350 million active players like before this actually happened now i don't even know how many people we lost and since most of the people in this world who play fortnite use like an iphone or ios device i'm pretty sure epic games lost a lot of players i mean if you're on android you face the same thing i mean like fortnite's not on the google play store but you can just go on like epic games website and just install it from there it's that simple one for for uh, samsung it's actually like, uh, how can I say? You can just go in the Galaxy store. It's that simple. Yeah, you can just do that. But with Apple, with iOS, you can't do any of that. You're stuck with the with the uh, season 13 format. And just just imagine this. Nine to 10 months. How many seasons would we get? Four seasons, right? That's going to literally kill the game for iOS players because they're going to miss out on four seasons. And they'll be stuck at season three when people who are still playing would get it get like season eight like that's just that's crazy you know like i don't even know why this has to happen i mean 
like I said, I just, I wish I can just fix this, you know? I really don't like Apple. I mean, I even though I'm recording this on an iPhone, I really don't like Apple because they're so money hungry. I know Epic Games is kind of mon money hungry, but I mean, with iOS, they were just, they're begging for money. Like, I mean, there's other games that they can just get money off of other than Fortnite. I mean, like, why? And, and that's this is literally just this is gonna kill the game because like like why would they make people wait for 10 months just to make this all go back to normal and you know this is kind of forcing some people to buy an android device you know i gotta be honest i think an android is much better than an ios device but i'm just saying that some people they just don't want to buy an i they don't want to buy an android and you know i don't blame them because they have like they probably like they're a huge fan of ios so I guess why would they want to buy an Android? I mean, I do like Android as well. I like Android. I don't really like iOS that much, but yeah, I mean, I like Android. And to be honest, it's just, I can't see, like, I can't understand. Like, and you know what's the worst part? I got my iPhone, iPhone XR, literally like two weeks after Fortnite got removed for iOS users. Like, I think it was like, I think I got my like iPhone like July 30th or 31st or something. And Fortnite got removed August 13th or 14th, whatever it was. Uh, no, August 13th, yeah. That's the day when Fortnite got removed from the App Store. And then, like, a few hours later, they removed it from the Google Play Store. You know, to be honest, I'm, I feel bad for you people. Like, if you play on an iOS device, I feel bad for you, you know? I honestly, like, they, they don't, de you guys just don't deserve it because, I mean... You don't just deserve this, like, kind of thing because you want to enjoy this game with your friends, but if something like this is going to happen, what else can we do, basically? Like, I'm sorry, but just, I feel bad for anybody who plays on iOS. Like, they probably, they, they can't just afford, like, a console or a, a PC or something, but they have to instead play on an iPhone. You know, I feel bad for you guys, and I mean, like, if you have an Android, well, good for you. You can play this game as much as you want. But to be honest, I just I feel bad for some of you iOS players because I know like the iPad Pro is like the the best mobile considered device for this game. Like below that is like the OnePlus 8, which is like the highest uh, running FPS, a uh, highest FPS phone for Fortnite, even though the iPad Pro runs on 120 FPS while the OnePlus 8 runs on 90 FPS and the rest are like 60 to 30. 30 to 60 or whatever like that's the thing you know so i'm gonna say this again i feel bad for any of you ios players i am on a ps4 so this doesn't worry me that much but the one thing that does worry me about this is that i can't do bob hobbies anymore so and i mean like i, I haven't even done them for like a month with my phone because Fortnite was banned from ios so basically there's nothing i can do the only way i can do bob hobbies is if i have like a friend who has like a switch or an android device just to do this, you know, that's the thing. But I don't, I don't think, like, Fortnite's coming back on mobile ever again. I think this is it. Like, this is the end. Like, I know this is, like, I know this is just a stupid thing that Epic Games did, but apparently, I mean, I know this is just a stupid thing that Apple did, but apparently, like, this, should, this, this shouldn't have happened, to be honest. Like, there's some of my friends who play on iOS. I want to play with them, but now I can't. The only way I can play with them is if I had, like, a... If I could just log on my phone, but apparently, like, that's the only way I can do it. But I don't really like to play on my phone, to be honest. And plus, I don't even know what's going to happen to Fortnite for iOS. Like, I don't know what's going to happen to that. Like, is it going to, like, you know, be, like, actually removed? Like, the whole app is going to be gone? Like, is that what's going to happen? I mean, I'm not even sure. Yeah, anyway, guys, so I hope you enjoy this video. I know I've been talking for like nine minutes now, but to be honest, it's just, I just, I, I feel bad because Epic Games was like, they were trying to help you guys. They were trying to help the community out, but Apple had to squeeze their fat ass inside this whole thing and then just ruin it. So I just, I feel bad for you guys. All you guys who play on iOS devices and don't have anything else. I just feel bad for you guys. So, so yeah, uh, I'm going to... So I'm gonna end the video here, so 
I hope you guys have a great day. Please tell me, what do you think about this? I mean, do you really, like, do you think that, do you think that this should, like, wait on to, like, 10 months? Because, in my opinion, I don't think anyone's going to be active by then. I mean, they would be, but if, I'm just saying is that, like, if they're going to lose, like, that many players, then the For then Fortnite's just going to die like that. So, like, do you guys think, like, do you think this is, like, going to, you know, happen or something? Like, just tell me. I want to know you guys' opinion, so I'll see you guys later. Peace.